As Australian merino wool continues to face uncertain times, new competitors are emerging to challenge the fine wool's traditional dominance on world markets. Bales of West Australian alpaca wool are now selling for a premium, and growers say the fleece is becoming increasingly marketable both at home and abroad. But sheep farmers are still dismissing it as a fad and say the newcomer is still a long, long way from being able to meet the demand for fine wools. Stephanie Dalzell has the story. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. And of course, it's just a beautiful looking animal. Good girl. We call this one pizzazz. They're an animal that people fall in love with. I think that's the worst problem with them. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Once again, oh, you can. Just a, just a stunning fleece. When the alpacas first come out, they were cute, and you know, and that's what people wanted them for. But now there's a little more of them. They're harder to get rid of. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, have some food. When Greg and Judy Smith saw an alpaca for the first time, they were instantly captivated by the strange foreigner. Good girl. That's it. And we paid a stupid amount of money. What and was that stupid amount of money? <laughs> $54,000 for two animals. That was $54,000, and that was in 1991, a time when alpacas were being embraced by some as a hardy, low-maintenance producer of quality wool. The spinners were ringing us saying, you know, we would like to buy your fleece and, you know, we would buy, sell the, the saddle area for crazy amounts of money. In you know. the early days. The hype over alpacas coincided with a horror period in Australia's sheep industry. As a high floor price drove off international buyers, demand for Australian wool plummeted leaving farmers with sheep they didn't need and wool they couldn't sell. If you don't smile, you cry. That's virtually the whole, the whole thing and uh, that's how, how tough things are. Farmers were forced to shoot sheep by the thousands. That's a, that's a sore point, I think, in a lot of people because we've done some terrible things in this industry and that was, I think, one of them. Send the wrong signals out to people. Shouldn't have happened. Mountains of wool were stockpiled for years and the national sheep flock was cut by 100 million over the next two decades. It was a disaster. As wool was fighting for its life internationally, farmers faced yet another potential threat at home in the form of a strange wool-bearing animal from South America. More at home in the Andes than in Albany, alpacas were dismissed as a passing fad by Australian farmers. But with improved breeding techniques, alpaca wool has carved out a niche in Australia's natural fibre industry. But to wool industry veterans like Ron Niven, it'll never be anything more than a passing fad. What did you think when you saw your first alpaca? Oh my God! You know, that, yeah, they're very well. They're they're an animal that people fall in love with. I think that's the worst problem with them, as far as things go. But they they are um and being a shear, I used to get calls to shear them and that. And they're really. It's not really, you can't associate it with wool because I don't think it's, it's, a vi it's another viber and it's, you can't do, you know, feel it and, and grab hold of it and this has got spring in it whereas al alpaca wool hasn't got the same feel to it. Come on up there, come on, hey! The Manjimup shearer and farmer has been in the wool game for more than 40 years. <laughs> He's seen the best and worst of times. But even with the current slump in merino wool prices eating away at growers' profits, he says the alpaca presents no real threat. Well, it hasn't got the feel and the handle what wool's got, and um, that's a bit of a, a worry. And it's never going to be a, a huge industry because it hasn't got the, the, the potential because it's too labour intensive. You've got a different method of shearing it, which is, you know, very ugly as far as I'm concerned. And it'll never make it. But alpaca farmers say it already has. Well, we, we love to be sceptics, but I love to be a little bit different. Everyone else is breeding white and light fawn alpacas, so we breed coloured alpacas. I, I just love the, the challenge of it. Um, and 
now we're getting the headlines all around the world and we're getting people to, wanting to do what we're doing. Uh, so that, that's a definition of success to me. Darrell Sherman got into the industry more than 10 years ago and says alpaca farmers have learned quickly from the mistakes and successes of their merino counterparts. The animals that came in 20, 25 years ago were pretty ordinary. <laughs> we wouldn't even look at them now. But I guess using this Australian capability, um, you know, we've got 200 years in merinos. The first merinos that landed were pretty scruffy looking things that didn't cut much fibre at all. Now look at what they're producing. So we've, we've had the benefit of using some of that technology and know-how to accelerate the way the, the fleece on the alpaca and the conformation has improved. He says after 20 years, farmers are finally taking alpacas seriously. But to be truly competitive, there needs to be more alpacas, more alpaca farmers, and much, much more alpaca wool. It'll be many years yet before we can produce enough fibre. At the moment, we of our best line of premium alpaca, we're producing one or two bales a year. They're selling for about $7,000 for a bit over 100 kilos, so $65 a kilo. But really, if you're talking to a serious mill, they want to be buying a container, which is 100 bales of that now. How many alpacas are we going to need to do that? That's the future. Come on! With the current herd at 200,000, Greg and Judy Smith say it's a good start and means the industry built around these odd animals once coveted by the Incas has finally secured its place. I think the industry is now finally starting to take alpacas seriously. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's the industry here to stay.